Hey, this is Jeffrey Pepper Rogers here for acoustic guitar with a lesson on the guitar style of Lucinda Williams, legendary Americana songwriter, uh, Grammy winner uh, in the folk, country, and rock categories. Also an artist with deep roots and blues and uh, known for the way that she kind of combines the sounds of roots music with a distinct sort of Southern literary sensibility in her songwriting. Uh, also a really distinctive uh, guitarist, um, playing with finger picks, usually playing a Gibson J45. And uh, in this lesson, we are going to dig into some Lucinda Williams songs to look at how she plays them and kind of the in underpinnings of her songwriting. So let's get started. Our first example here comes from her debut album, 1979. Uh, it was called Ramblin' On My Mind. It was actually a collection of blues covers and included three Robert Johnson tunes, including the title track, which is the basis of this example. And um, she played a 12 string. She played in standard tuning. So she did the songs in her own way, uh, rather than kind of trying to copy the Robert Johnson recordings. Um, and uh, the way that she played then and still uh, using a thumb pick and two finger picks and um, I'm going to do my best to emulate the sound uh, using just a thumb pick here, my bare fingers, uh, but it's well worth a look and a listen at some live recordings of her to get to a little bit more of the kind of nuances of the sound and that very personal sort of right hand touch that she's developed over the years. So in the song, uh, Ramblin' On My Mind, um, it's an E blues. She plays uh, uncapoed, uh, using all seventh chords. It's a one, four, five. One, two, three, and. So next, let's go to her self-titled debut album from 1988. Uh, it's actually her second album of original songs uh, and uh, began a collaboration with Gurf Morlix that lasted for several albums, a uh, great lead guitarist and producer. So uh, this example comes from the song Side of the Road and um, playing here with a capo at the fourth fret, uh, playing out of C shapes, which she does a lot. And when she's playing this song with a lead guitarist, she may mostly strum the chords, uh, but sometimes she does add a little bit of chord melody. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Next, let's go to her uh, song, Sweet Old World. Again, working with Gurf Morlix, but she actually remade the album 25 years later, uh, came out as uh, This Sweet Old World. And this example is based on uh, that redo version. Her guitar is more uh, prominent, uh, slower, also lower. She lowered the key um, down to uh, playing capo 2 again using uh, C shapes here um, and for the C uh, she'll typically use this C over G shape so uh, add that sixth string third fret note on there and then on C uh, she'll often play it this way with the C in the bass so C over G and F over C are typical fingerings for her. But this Sweet Old World is really a strumming style, but she uses her thumb pick uh, basically like a flat pick. One, two, three, four. Next up is Car Wheels on a Gravel Road from her 1998 album. 
uh, classic album, uh, Grammy winner. Uh, many of her best known songs are on that album. So in the title track, um, Capo at the fourth fret, this time um, the main uh, groove is between uh, D and A minor shapes here. Uh, again, capo four and going down to G uh, with some hammer on embellishments added in there. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Another great song off the Car Wheels album is Jackson, uh, really reminiscent of the traditional folk songs that she grew up playing, and um, a really simple three chord song, uh, which she plays in a kind of a thumb brush style, thumb strum style, a little bit like uh, Maybell Carter, uh, this time capo three, um, using uh, C shapes. And here's what that sounds like. One, two, three. Four, one, two. Lucinda Williams worked with a lot of great uh, guitar players over the years. Uh, Gerf Morlex, I already mentioned, uh, Doug Pettibone, uh, Stuart Mathis currently, um, who all of whom added riffs that really became integral to her songs. And uh, so I wanted to touch on that in this ne next example, which comes from the song Fruits of My Labor uh, from her 2003 album, world without tears and so this is uh, based on a riff that uh, Doug Pettibone played on electric guitar um, capo one uh, playing out of G shapes so this is a little uh, simple kind of melodic harmonized uh, riff because um, you're playing um, on strings that are not adjacent you're playing a lot of this on the third and first strings uh, you need to either play finger style or you can use hybrid picking and catch the lower note with the pick and the upper one with your middle finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. <laughs> The next example is uh, based on her song, The Ghosts of Highway 20, a uh, song really reminiscent of traditional ballads and uh, Bob Dylan tunes for sure. Uh, the album version of this is actually in D minor, uh, but the example that I'm going to play here is based on her live version, which she tends to play in E minor. Uh, it has an alternating bass uh, finger picking pattern, uh, very sparse, mostly just built around that bass. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Finally, let's look at a couple of examples from her 2020 album, Good Souls, Better Angels, which really brought her back to uh, her roots, to the gospel blues sounds that uh, really inspired her since she was, she was very young. So this next example um, uh, is inspired by uh, her song, uh, Pray the Devil Back to Hell, uh, from that album. From the rhythm pattern that she played, uh, capo three playing out of E shapes here, uh, E7, our only chord move is from E7 to C over G. Um, 
the uh, percussion here is a real important uh, element. So uh, coming at those strings uh, with the right hand with a little bit of slap that's going to create those those back beats that I've got here. One, two, three, four. And finally, from the same album, uh, Good Souls, Better Angels, um, this last example is it based on You Can't Rule Me, which is actually a rewrite that Lucinda Williams did of a Memphis mini song. Uh, it's played on electric guitar um, on the album. Uh, this example is based on uh, how she plays it acoustically. Um, again, um, capo three, like the last example, um, playing out of E shapes. This is all on one chord. Um, just mostly bass notes and slaps, like a kick and a snare kind of a sound. And uh, here's what you get. One, two, three, four. All right, so I hope you enjoyed trying out uh, the guitar patterns from some of these great Lucinda Williams songs. Uh, definitely go back, listen to the originals, and uh, you know, try to get into that feel that she has. She's got a special way of uh, of playing, honed over many years, and it's just uh, an uh, intrinsic part of the sound of her songwriting. So for acoustic guitar, once again, I'm Jeffrey Pepper Rogers, and thanks for watching.